Coat Memorial National Park, Watkins Glen, Seneca Lake right behind me. I had to go ahead and grab a coat. Kids had breakfast. You all had breakfast. They're doing homeschool right now. I'm going to take Eloise to the lake, show you guys around a bit. And hopefully when kids are done with homeschool, we can uh, visit Watkins Glen. We've always wanted to, so stop here on our way out of New York. It's a lot nicer today, but in the nighttime it gets pretty chilly. I think it's going to be 50s, 60s today. But this is the boat launch area. I'm just taking a walk with Eloise. The RV park is right there where you see the RVs. So that's Clue Memorial and it kind of like goes all the way around. It's really nice here because you're surrounded by mountains and then Seneca Lake is all the way over there and this is the boat launch section and it goes under the bridge and there's like a main bridge, main road that you have to cross to get to Seneca Lake. Seneca Lake is one of the longest and I think deepest Finger Lakes if I'm not mistaken. I can imagine this looks gorgeous in the fall time. Like it is fall, but like October-ish. It's still too early for the leaves to be changing color, but like I'm sure in mid-October it looks gorgeous with all the yellows and reds and stuff, especially since you can see all the trees in the distance. But just wanted to check out this area and see what it was all about. And I'm gonna go show you guys the lakeside, which is really nice. We went there yesterday with the kids. We were exploring a bit. Let's go, Louise. You can see our truck right there and then you cross the main road and you can kind of see the lake from here. Probably not on video, but with the naked eye you can see it. So it's a really cool spot, just a short walk. This is our little spot. It has a picnic table, fire ring, and then on the other side you have full hookups, water, sewer, and electric. So it's nice. You can take as many showers, use as much water as you want. It's definitely closer together in, um, in like an open field so you don't get a lot of privacy here. But you pay for convenience, I guess. So usually either one or the other seems like and then this is the main office right here where you check in and then that's that main road you cross it and they have a nice playground beach area really really nice I'll show you guys in a little bit this is the playground the office that I just mentioned is right there you cross the main street and it's a bridge and underneath is the boat launch I'm not sure what that factory looking thing in the distance is but the playground itself the park seems very very well kept it has swings, swing sets, volleyball courts. It has a beach section over there, which is obviously closed because it's freezing and no lifeguards. And then they have, I guess, like a welcome center of sorts over there and what looks like some kind of community center. And then this is the lake portion right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Yesterday we came here right at sunset. It was so beautiful, cold, but beautiful. I'll walk up there in a little bit. Eloise just wants to play in the playground. And then you guys can see the RV park right across the street. There's this little walkway with rocks on Seneca Lake. It has a little bench on the end, as you guys can see. Right now, there's not many people here because the season closes October 11th and it's gonna be October 1st tomorrow. So we got here basically just before they close. I'm sure they're probably super busy during like prime season but it's just so nice and peaceful here, even if it's a little chilly. It almost looks a teensy, schmeensy bit like Italy, just looking at the hillside right there with all the buildings and stuff, just like a smidge. I gotta keep an eye on Eloise with my other eye. <laughs> so I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm always weary with kids around water, but it's just very, very pretty here. And like I said, I can imagine how gorgeous it looks once everything starts changing colors, like all the greens become more yellow and red. Just absolutely beautiful here so love the location and then hopefully once kids finish homeschool in a little bit we can go back and go visit Watkins Glen the waterfall we've always wanted to go there just never got a chance to so figured might as well while we're here make a stop sun is out so it's getting a lot warmer but yeah just thought I'd show you guys the like the area location a little bit in case anybody has wondered or just watching along our little travels and then that's the beach area right there, which is obviously closed off because no lifeguards. Eloise, be careful. The water seems pretty clear. Like it doesn't seem murky or anything. I'm sure it's freezing, but it looks pretty clear. Like I can see the ocean, the ocean, the lake bottom. I just can't get over how beautiful and peaceful it is here. I can imagine having like a house over there on the hills. Hi, Louisa. Yeah, I'll sit with you. I wonder what that factory is there. I gotta Google it, look it up. Very interesting. But the boats come out from like right there and it goes under the bridge. 
I don't know if you guys can see the, the cars kind of go up and the bridge crosses over and on the other side there's Walmart just like a lot of places to eat things like that maybe we'll order sushi tomorrow since our we're actually leaving tomorrow maybe we'll order today because our anniversary is on Sunday so we're gonna be traveling 12 years of marriage guys but we're gonna be traveling to like the middle of nowhere basically next not the middle of nowhere, like Allegheny National Park, probably Pennsylvania. Make our way through Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I mean. So I used to saying Philadelphia. So I figured to celebrate here while they have like, sushi restaurants because I highly doubt they're going to have a sushi. You never know though, but I just doubt it I'm since they have one here. here. Try it out. So we came from here. Walk down. We are now we here, here. and then we have to get to right here. This is the Lafayette Park. It's a cute little park area. What? Wow. It's cute. Run, 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 run. Wow. We finally made it to the park. Perfect weather, I would say. It's not too cold, not too hot. It's like 64 or something. Uh, we're here. That's how, yeah, there's quite a few hiking trails. So, and routes you can take. Which one do you want to go to? I guess just walk and see. I think the, the green path seems the best. It's right by the river. This looks really nice. Not too much water, it looks like, even though it did rain quite a bit. This reminds me a lot of Toganok Falls, which is in the other Finger Lake. Very, very similar. We went there two years ago, 2020. Let's go check it out. It's like we're going into some secret passageway. Ooh. So cute. It's like, who calls a tunnel cute? <laughs> Ooh, it's not scary. This is really cool. Look at this. Oh, you can go on the bridge? Really? Oh my goodness, we can, you can go on the bridge. <laughs> You're high up. Yeah, and that's where that dog is. It's so high. Look at that. I know, right? It's pretty cool. What are your questions? What are your questions? What are my questions? What are my questions? How is it like so carved like that? Carved out years and years and years of rock formation. Kids absolutely loved it, but this is really, really nice. Yeah, this was really a tunnel. Not really dark. It's a lot more quieter. It's a lot more quieter. It's a lot quieter here. But the scenery, I don't even I feel like it doesn't even capture as well on camera. It's just so much.
pull this way too with this. just walk down the gorge or up the gorge trail walk the entire mile up to the point where you can either keep going half a mile to the upper end where they have the start we decided to take the Indian trail back up so the gorge trail is right down below so we walked an entire mile and I try to insert take as many video clips as I could but it's kind of hard because there's like people always around you and you want to keep going you don't want to stop for too long and things like that but I feel like I got some good videos just especially from memory it's just highly recommend coming here probably around this time because it's not too cold it's not too hot the leaves are just starting to change color it's absolutely gorgeous and I feel like around this time of year there probably aren't as many people and people passing through because some of the paths can be really narrow so it can be kind of difficult to maneuver especially with kids and when the paths are wet things like that so I feel like end of September beginning of October is probably the perfect time probably the first second week of October is even prettier because then the leaves change more and more but highly highly recommend this is for me for us personally we definitely feel like this was a lot prettier and more worth it than Toganok Falls. Toganok Falls was nice but this was this was amazing. Did you like this, Aviana? Yeah. Really awesome I did. trip, right? It was so many beautiful little falls and just like beautiful scenery all around. Definitely highly recommend, but we're walking back now and we're taking the Indian Trail, like I said. We're just gonna walk all the way back. Stopped by Seneca Sunrise Coffee on our way back. Gonna try it out. We'll try cappuccino, some local whole roast um, coffee beans for the espresso machine. They have this cute little section in between, little sitting area. Kids are rocking away in their chairs. I'm just waiting for Vadim to come out with my cappuccino right out there. <laughs> cappuccino. I got you two coffees. Ooh, thank you. Coffee beans? Yep. So Seneca Sunrise Coffee. Let's see what we got here. Are these, they, they locally, yeah. do they locally roast it? Yeah, local. Ooh. Watkins Glen. Can't wait to try it. What is this? Coffee beans. What? Ooh, really good espresso. I had no, like this. Mm, of course you did. Tea drinker, coffee drinker. So good. Really good. It feels so good to sit down. We are back in the RV. My husband and Josiah and Eloise went to the park for now, across from the lake. Yeah, I wanted to come back in here. I'm going to set up some painting for them outside, let them paint a little bit, and then my husband's going to come back. Order some sushi, some lo mein and stuff for the kids. We'll have some sushi. Just I actually love Philly rolls. He can eat like two, three rolls easy all by himself. It was really nice though. Highly recommend coming here. Uh, we've always wanted to, just never really got the chance. So we figured before we head out of New York, hit up Watkins Glen and definitely, we definitely enjoyed it. I feel like this was probably more interesting than Toganok, although Toganok is a nice experience too. It's on, there's like Ithaca. Finger Lakes and at the bottom is Ithaca. So the Toganok Falls is around there and then the next one, the longest Finger Lake is Seneca Lake, which is where we are. And then this is where Watkins Glen is. So, and then they do have like a um, Seneca Wine Trail, something like that going on here. So if you stay here for longer, there's definitely a lot of stuff to do. And don't forget when we went to like those waterfall places and stuff. Yeah, Watkins Glen. That's what it is? Yeah. Where there was like those waterfalls. Just now where we came from? No, like remember where like uh, those there was those stones and it for uh, and the water formed like those cool things. Just now place. where we came from? Yeah, when we were hiking. That call, that's called Watkins Glen Falls. Uh, this whole area is called Watkins Glen, New York. 
Watkins, Watkins, Watkins Glen, New York, with the falls. Those are called Watkins Glen Falls. Oh. Yeah, really cool. Cool factoids. I have a cold sore that came out, which is a little weird. I haven't gotten a cold sore in a while. And I usually don't get them on my top lip, so I'm trying to stay away from the camera, I'm like being too close. Put a little Breva on it, took my L lysine, which usually helps for me. We are leaving today. One thing that we noticed with this trip is that we probably would do, I feel like three days is too short. It almost feels like you come here, you spend a full day here. We came here when? Thursday, spent Friday, we're leaving Saturday. We tried to extend another day, but they didn't have, the spot was taken already and we'd have to move and it's like a whole thing. So we decided we're just gonna leave. Feels like you're just coming, spending a day and then leaving. We'd probably do like three, four nights. And then we also noticed like six nights is probably too much. But it depends, depends on the area. Like if you really wanna explore everything, then you might wanna stay longer. But we do wish we stayed like an extra day. Mm -hmm.